doesn't know him. Popeye. With the ever-present pipe in his mouth, Popeye is famous for his perseverance to overcome any obstacle to please Olive, his soul sweetheart over the years. She's the only person Popeye will permit to give him a thumping. But things could not always go as good as he dreams. Also, the much robust and powerful Bruto loves Olive. With you as an inspiration, babe, I could be another Gilbert and Sullivan. We all know the endless machinations Bruto goes through to try to claim Olive at Popeye's expense. Bruto always puts Popeye in difficult situations. Smack, splash, and pummeled him. Here you go. Bon voyage. When fed up with his treatment or exhausted, Popeye would eat spinach, which would instantly restore and amplify his strength to the greatest levels. Having superhuman strength, Popeye is finally able to put Bruto out of Olive way. Spinach dependence, Popeye and Olive have been associated with spinach. However, things that reach extreme limits suddenly backfire. So Olive got over fed up with this green vegetable. She really fell ill. Bluto did not wish more. He would employ the event to avoid that Popeye continue eating spinach. Without spinach, Popeye could not win anymore. You see what your spinach ended up to. But I know you want her dead. Poor Olive. I have always advised you not to believe this silly guy. Well, oh. have a bite, Billy. Mm. Now do you feel tough, huh? Run. Still strong, Popeye hits Bruto badly, chasing him away. Poor Olive, forgive me if too much spinach made you sick. I will give up taking any spinach. I will take it out of our diet. Bluto is so happy that he started falling down laughing. But now, what can I do without spinach? I will get lost. Without spinach, Bluto will run me over. Without spinach... Watching TV, a show on milk catches Popeye's attention. Milk is usually considered to be very good for you, and it is a good source of protein, fat, and calcium. Milk is one of the most nutritional substances. Eureka! Yes, milk is the solution. Olive, milk, no more spinach. Milk, milk. In the meantime, Bluto is trying to flirt Olive and convince her to give up Popeye and come with him. I am the only one who can make you happy. I love you, Olive. Popeye loves only his spinach. Yes, you are a kind fellow, Bluto. You look rude, but you are really kind. I love Brutus. I love Brutus. I love Brutus. Popeye at the door listening to this frustrating chat. I love Brutus. Popeye takes a milk can, drinks, suddenly he's again the usual Superman. He hits Bluto and wins. When it comes to jippers, I clobber them clippers. But Bluto doesn't give up. Olive, you're on the safe side. Popeye will not find all that milk he needs to win always. In honor of your sweet eyes and pretty face, I will work until all rivers of the world are filled with milk. 
Take a look. They would be like this. Rivers and rivers of milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know, you stupid, that there are many reasons which make milk get wasted. You cannot find all the milk you need to win always. In a country like Syria, studies estimate that about 15% of the milk produced get wasted because of wrong methods of production, processing and marketing. It is a huge quantity worth over 25 million US dollars. Sheep is the major source of milk in Syria. The steppe areas are natural pastures where the Ministry of Agriculture, MAR, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, have effective interventions to rehabilitate these important grazing lands. Unfortunately, most of such very good milk has to be processed immediately. Cheese processing, although producing good quality raw cheese, is causing avoidable waste which could be prevented if fresh milk conservation and transportation methods were available. Though with minor constraints, the same could be applied to cows and goat's milk. It happens all the world around where milk transportation is really a problem. We cannot deliver the milk to the dairy because of high transportation costs, so we produce cheese locally and sell it to our regular customers. <laughs> milk should be cooled down at 4 degrees centigrade. It should be rushed within two hours from production site to dairies at temperature less than 10 degrees centigrade. If such conditions are not met, the consequence is losing the milk because of over-acidity. Cheaters like you, Bruto, are used to apply some fluids to conserve milk, but those methods are dangerous and illegal. Only this month, I lost about 120 kg of milk because of over-acidity during my one hour and a half usual trip. Milk is wasted also when one cow is vaccinated and its milk is mixed up with other milk. <laughs> to overcome such and other constraints in the livestock sector, MAR started to implement the Integrated Livestock Development Project, ILDP, initiated and supported by IFAD. The Syrian livestock sector will be promoted to make it as sound and effective as those in other parts of the world, particularly in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where they have already carried out several livestock development projects IFAD have been supporting. There are 27 lacto-freezers on the ground, one or two lacto-freezers per village at the leading milk producers. They keep their own milk and their neighbors and is transported by the dairy tank. In order to cover costs for their work, they charge a small fee to cover running costs. <laughs> The project provided six lacto-freezers on a 50% basis. My association used them for collecting milk. Milking machines and milk cans were also provided. This way, about 700 liters of milk per day are now collected and delivered to the Padeni dairy in Bilecia. This lacto-freezer is owned by the Milk Producers Association called Verbas. It positively influenced my own income as well as those of other cooperative members. Before we got it, we had to wait for two to three hours with the milk still in the cans. The milk used to get acid. We now milk the cows and put the milk instantly in lacto-freezers. Do you see, Mr. Bruto? Because of such projects, the quantity of milk in Bosnia and Herzegovina was raised by more than 35% and the cow productivity by 28%. Okay, okay, you can find milk as much as you want, but you cannot ignore the fact that milk could be a source of tuberculosis, brucellosis, typhoid and many other diseases. 
Indeed, I know your intention. You want Olive get sick again. I know you want her dead. Professor Bluto, milk as any other foodstuff could be a source of diseases only when infected. Musty milk becomes a real risk, but maintained unpolluted milk is always a source of health. Look, Olive, this is an analysis of papaya milk. Look at all these harmful germs in this milk. Olive, don't believe him. He analyzed the milk of a cow milked with dirty hands. This is the analysis of a milk milked properly. Even when readers have to milk their animals by hand, they have to follow restricted norms of hygiene. Hands should be cleaned with soap, others and teeth sterilized and dried. The same is said for machine milking process. Olive, don't listen to these nonsense fooleries. Don't believe him. Consider please how much time the milk is left before it is delivered to where it is sold. Acidity is the minor risk because milk after a while gets exposed to major risks. I usually lose about four, even five tons of milk a year during hot seasons. It happens especially when I have problems with my vehicle. The acid milk then is returned by the dealer. Professor Bluto, you're living out of history. The presence of readers and milk producers associations and related value chain organizations permits to optimize the production, marketing and processing practices from the animal to the consumer. This includes, dear ignorant professor, the creation of milk collection and cooling centers and the availability of refrigerated vehicles that ensure a rapid and safe milk delivery to dairies. We are here at Gucevo village at Milena Farm. This is a certificate that the milk falls into the extra quality category. The Farmer Association assisted Milena in getting these lactofreezer for her and others in the area as well as the milking machines on a 50% basis. We will continue to supply all our farmers with services and advice regarding milk collection and marketing as well as any other training needed on their farms. Yeah, don't forget, fanatic man, that this way allows bad milk of other producers get mixed up with good milk. Ha ha ha, uninformed Professor Bruto. Sample of the milk of every producer is tested before mixing it with other milks. The whole milk in the tank is retested in the dairy's laboratory. Olive, he says what he wants, but have a look at this. Is it real milk? Do you dare to take a look at it? It is really a nauseating thing. <laughs> now, you're not just ignorant, but you're also trying to fish in troubled water. Because you're fully aware that this is not normal milk, it is produced by others affected by mastitis. Milk produced when others are infected by mastitis is always thrown out until the other is treated and is completely well again. Mastitis could be avoided by following good breeding practices. This Bosnian lady, Zora Pavlovich Kadic, living in the municipality of Bihać in Bosnia and Herzegovina, cares for her cows as she does for her children. When starts to milk, she calls every cow with its human name talks with cows and milks them with the maximum of respect and care. She says this way her cows give more milk than when milked by others. <laughs> In Syria, some breeders have already started improving their practices. This breeder from El Bab, near Aleppo, North Syria, is using the sheep milking facility which permits easier and safer approach to the sheep. It is introduced within the framework of cooperation between MAR and the International Center for Agricultural Research in Dry Areas, ICADA. Other breeders, however, are often complaining about lack of soft credit and adequate selling prices. 
This, as well as many other breeders, requires milking machines, lacto-freezers, and refrigerated tanks. The Syrian ILDP will certainly improve the small-scale dairy sector by also introducing the much-needed value chain approach. Beaten by Popeye reasoning, Pluto tries to win using his usual rude manners. But drinking milk, Popeye hits him badly and sends him away. Proud of him and very happy, Olive presents a certificate to Popeye. He opens it. It is a marriage certificate. Oh.